from Matty. Okay, so um, here we have, I'd like to introduce you to the fighters. We have Joe Hayes. Round of applause for Joe. Joe is a uh, welterweight. Correct. Okay. Then we have Matty Leg in the middle, light to middleweight. And then we have Jake the Brit Gosling, who's middleweight. <laughs> okay. So starting with Joe, Joe down the end. So um, Joe, how is your career going at the moment? Yes, yeah, it's, it's going great. I've had um, three fights, won them all. Um, they've all, all been uh, in London. So yeah. It's it's going well, brilliant. Okay, and you obviously train at, at Steve's gym. Yeah, I train at Steve's. Um, I'm linked with a promoter in London, so that's, that's what the previous fights have been in London. Um, and I always take a big crowd up there. You know, I sell at least 100, 120 tickets, so mm. it'll be it'll be nice to uh, to fight at home. Great, and it's your first six rounder. Yeah, first six rounder. So and how do you feel about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I'm always I put a graft in the gym. If I can do four rounds, I can do six rounds. So as, as long as I train hard, eat right, and I've got you know, I've got no worries whatsoever. Well, confident. Yeah, <laughs> gotta be. Good stuff, brilliant. Okay, thanks, thanks, Joe. Um, so Matty, so <laughs> so what's the story? What got you into boxing? Uh, I was getting myself in a little bit of trouble, <laughs> and um, this is where I'm getting out of it, and then stop starting. And Kept going back to the gym and then it's like professional steam and course so taking it a bit more seriously but then obviously Saturday bought so I wasn't taking it seriously enough. So I learned a lot from that and then take it a little bit more seriously now to put myself to the next level. And now professional boxer. Yeah. It's a fantastic achievement. So um what's it gonna be like being um so professional boxer in your hometown at the show, the O2? Uh, it'd be brilliant because my first fight was in Eastley, my second fight was in London, and I've done, I did, I think, 140 tickets in Eastley, 125 or something in London, so I'm going to get brilliant support anywhere I go, so it's just it's much appreciated. And mm. Brilliant. So yeah. I'll, I'll be a lot more in Bournemouth, it's, it's nice to see a lot of family and friends I've grown up with, people that have known me for a long time, seeing me doing well for myself, so it's good. Yes. Oh, sorry, that went a little bit wrong. So yeah, you had a fight on Saturday. <laughs> did, yeah. And so how did it go? I, I, it, it didn't go well, but I think it went really well in the fact that it taught me a lot more about myself and a lot of things I needed to learn. So I think it, even though I lost, it went really well. And I think mm -hmm. it really brought to light a lot of changes I need to make in my life if I want to make it as a boxer. A lot of, do you know what I mean? So. Sure, okay. It might be a loss, but in the long term it'll be a win. Yeah. So your so is your next big show the one at the O2 in yeah. April? Well, yeah, um, that's the next one. And then after that I think I think I'm fighting in May. May the twenty ninth at the York Hall, which is another big big show. It's not a lovely show to be on like it was last Saturday. We've just gotta get in 